What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. Today's video is brought to you guys by Wondershare. In particular, Wondershare Tunes Go. Now, this particular piece of software makes it easier to manage your iOS or Android device. In fact, there's actually a bunch of other devices that this works with as well. As you can see right here, it works with iPhones, iPads, iPod Touches, iOS 5 or later. But what's interesting is it also works with iPod Classics, Nanos, Shuffles, and of course, iPods with OS 1.0 or later. Now, of course, as default, it also works with Android 2.2. Now, this is a special version of Tunes Go that actually works with both iOS and Android. If you're an only iOS person, you can download the one that's only for iOS. And if you're an only Android person, you can also go and download the one that's only for Android. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly connect my device and show you guys exactly what you can do with the free version. And then I'm going to show you guys what you can do with the full version. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and attempt to connect my device, which is an Axon 7, also known as your average Android device out there right now. All right, it's going to detect my device. As you guys can see, it's going to initialize ZTE. Please follow the ste following steps to enable USB debugging. All right, so I'm going to go and do that on my device. And let's go ahead and see what I can get from my device. Now, the first thing you see is, of course, the device itself. You can actually rebuild your iTunes library, which is more relevant for iTunes, transfer iTunes media to device. So, of course, if you are going for iOS to Android, this is a very convenient feature. You can also back up all your photos to your PC, which is awesome. And then, of course, there's also phone to phone transfer. So these seem to be really convenient for people who are moving from one phone to the next. The things that are really relevant to your device and what most people are going to be using this for, I'd say are located in Toolbox and, of course, these sections right here. So inside of the toolbox you find yourself the backup device option so you can back up all your files to your PC this is very important because this is what a lot of people are going to be doing you can also restore your device so you can restore all the files that you backed up back to your device after maybe you go through a full format or something of that sort there's also gif maker which is really interesting but what's more interesting is what's next to it and that's the one click root option so if you do choose to go and attempt to root your Android device then you can do it directly through here once again it has the typical things we just talked about up here as well I'm actually gonna jump into music and as you guys can see we can go through all of my songs when I click on a song I can actually go and deduplicate the songs in case there's multiple versions of them I can also delete the song directly from here or I can export them you of course can go and add songs which on Android is pretty easy but for an iOS device is really really convenient then of course you can do the same for photos, but the interesting section right here is of course your information. So of course this shows you all of your contacts, but you can also go through all of your mess messages should you choose to do so. And then of course there's all of your different applications. So what exactly can you do with all of your apps? Well you can actually uninstall certain applications directly from here if you don't really like them. You can also go and install applications, APK files from here as well, and you can export all of your different apps to of course your computer, which is really awesome. So I want to show you guys what happens when you go and attempt to export. This is where it comes in um, and it actually asks you to go and buy it. So now I'm going to show you guys what you are capable of doing when it comes to the full version of the application. All right, so now we're actually going to go ahead and play around with the full version. So once again, it's going to connect. And this time, as you guys can see, I am 100% activated. So as you guys can see, I'm actually going to jump into one last section we haven't really played with yet, and it is known as the Explorer. Now, sure, on Android devices, we get ourselves an Explorer directly built into our device so of course it doesn't mean too too much however being able to have the capability of instantaneously looking at every single file even root files potentially on your computer is very useful for a variety of reasons as you guys can see right here so what can I do with some of these files so I'm gonna go and maybe click on the Facebook Messenger file and I do have a little bit of media in here and as you guys can see I can actually export this now so this will fully just export onto maybe my desktop I'm simply gonna hit OK and we're gonna watch my desktop and we're gonna open the full right here and as you guys can see it's right there so that's pretty awesome I'm not sure how well you guys could see that inside of that file but as you guys can see unfortunately our media folder had nothing inside of it so now I'm gonna go ahead and once again attempt to export this screen recording that I actually took of Clash of Clans I'm gonna export it to PC but you can also export to iTunes should you choose to do so now once again I'm gonna reiterate that you can do all this stuff on iOS as well I'm gonna go and simply send this to my desktop and I'm gonna cho choose OK and once again it should export directly to the desktop alright so it does take a few seconds for that to go through but afterwards as you guys can see it has already created the file I should be able to open it up and do whatever I need to with that file right away 
Alright, so the file is right here, and so I should be able to look at my Clash of Clans footage. Awesome, it works perfectly. And just like that, I have successfully moved a file from the phone directly to the PC itself. So once again, this is everything you can go and do with this. Once again, there are a few features that you can go and try out. For example, backing up all your photos, phone to phone transfer. Those aren't necessarily things I need to do right now, but in the long run, some people are going to go and watch this video and they're going to be like, oh, that's something I'll be doing maybe next week or maybe I need to do right now. And of course, if you need to, then this is probably the software for you. Go ahead and check it out in the link below. With that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If so, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me logging on.